Hi, Sagadilim here from MLM Basics TV, making life meaningful. So today, let's gonna answer this million dollar question. Okay? So, bakit si mentor or si upline ay million dollar club member na? And ikaw, yes, ikaw at ako ay hindi pa. Yan. So guys, ito kakapulutan to ng aral. So I suggest if you are building a business, um, kailangan mo to panoorin. Okay? So bakit nga ba? Bakit nga ba si mentor malaki kinikita tapos ikaw hindi? Bakit nga ba? What's um, the reason behind? Ano yung ginagawa ni mentor or ni upline na hindi mo ginagawa? Okay? Or ano yung ginagawa mo na hindi niya ginagawa? Okay? So, guys, there's really uh, reason kung bakit. So, yan yung i-discover natin sa ngayon. Okay? So, ano nga ba? Okay? Guys, one word to describe. One word to describe. Kung ano yung ginagawa niya, ginagawa nila at ano yung ginagawa natin. Is ito. Okay? Consistency. Yan. Consistency. Sabi ni mentor, o oh, ano ha? Um, ito yung dapat, mo, dapat mong gawin. You have to invite. Um, kailangan, kailangan ka mag ng training. Okay? Kailangan mo expose yung sarili mo sa, sa mga events na meron tayo. And then, here you are. Um, talagang pinifilter mo kung okay ba yung sinasabi ni mentor or yung sinasuggest ni mentor. Okay? So, siguro patangot-tangot ka. Yes, mentor. Yes, mentor. But deep inside, parang duda ka kung kailangan ba yun. Di ba? Kailangan ba ba yung, yung, yung sinasabi ni mentor? Kailangan ba yung gawin? Okay? So, pwedeng sabihin mo, ah, mentor, wala, wala eh. Nahihirapan ako eh. Um, I cannot, I cannot invite eh. Tapos, buti ka, okay yung connection mo. Ako, hindi eh. Or, sabihin ni mentor, goal set tayo, you have to earn $200 this week. Kayang-kaya mo na yan. And then, sasagot ka, mentor, hindi pa, hindi pa time. Uh, okay lang, dati lang tayo dyan, mentor. So, if you are consistent of giving reasons, Okay? It could be valid. Okay? If you are consistent of giving reasons or keeping on uh, keep keep on reacting. Okay? Kung palagi kang nagre-reason out consistently, so possible na hindi natin i-income in or i-income yung kinikita ng mentor mo ngayon. Tama? Yes, consistent ka. Pero ibang consistent or i- sa ibang pa- sa ibang bagay mo, uh, inilalagay yung pagiging consistent mo. Okay? So, for example, may nangyaring Okay? May nangyari or sabi na natin, ito, my circumstances. Okay? May dumating na mga circumstances sa buhay mo na meron konting um, impact sa business mo. Okay, let's say na lang, may may ganoong pangyayari. So pwedeng pwedeng ah uh, out ka, di ba? Ah sige lang mentor, um, balik lang ako or ipapatuloy ko lang yung yung business ko, yung yung sana ko pag okay na ako. Okay? Pero pwede namang, sige lang mentor, yes, um, hindi ito may iiwasan, and na- nakita ko naman na hindi ko ik- ikakamatay ito, but um, yes, meron siyang af- uh, affected, for sure magiging, may impact siya or affected yung business ko, but I will find ways para magawa ko pa din yung business ko. Pwede namang ganun, di ba? And for sure, yung mga mentors ngayon na kumikita ng malaki, Iba yung respond nila 
sa mga pang nangyayari sa paligid nila. Okay? Na mayroong certain impact din sa business nila. Tama? Ayan. Wala kang sk skills ngayon sa in invitation or wala kang skills sa selling. Tapos gagawin mo yung reason ngayon na, na kaya, kaya, kaya hindi ko nagagawa, hindi ko nakihit yung goal ko kasi I don't know how to invite. Instead of telling that to your mentor, yes, you can, pwede mo sabihin, mentor, kaya hindi ko nahihit yung goal ko because I cannot invite. So, pwede mo sabihin na naman na, pero don't worry, mentor. Pag-aaralan ko talaga. Okay? Or turuan mo naman ako kung paano mag-invite. So, if you are consistent of, uh, on asking help, yan. So, possible, iba yung resulta mo ngayon. But if you are if you are consistent of of reacting in every circumstances or events na nangyayari sa buhay mo or sa business mo so possible yung resulta yan yung tinatamasa mo sa ngayon Okay consistency So make sure kung saan ka consistent consistent on responding or consistent on reacting okay or reasoning out guys very important yan do not wait for self correct so ano ibig sabihin, sabihin ko sa self correct dating kasi yung panahon na marirealize mo na na you really need mentor Dating yung panahon na marirealize mo na kailangan mo pala seryosohin yung business mo or yung buhay mo. Darating talaga yan. Okay? Pero do not wait for that. Kasi possible, 4 years pa yan bago dumating. Is sayang yung oras. So, anong gawin mo? Yan yung trabaho ng mentor mo. ba diba? So, kapag ikaw pinupush, okay, tinutulak ka ng mentor mo ngayon, Tinutulak ka, okay, you have to do this, itong gawin mo, tulungan kita kung ano, ano, ang, ano ang dapat mong gawin, okay, basta uh, learn this one, yan. So, uh, mini-mentor ka, kino-coach ka, let's say, yan ang ginagawa ng mentor mo. And then, deep inside, sinasabi mo na, I'm not yet ready, hindi pa ako ready dyan mentor. Deep inside ah, hindi pa ako ready dyan mentor. Bata pa ako, or bago pa ako sa yung sign, eh? or bago pa ako sa business ko. There's a moment for that. Okay? Pwede mong sabihin ganun, di ba? Deep inside. And pwede mong hindi i-follow kung ano yung sinasabi ng coach mo or mentor mo. Guys, huwag mo nang hintayin yung self-correct. Okay? Huwag mo nang hintayin yan. Let your mentor do that for you. Okay? Let your upline do that for you. Hayaan mong i-correct ka na. Okay? Habang maaga. At least makakasave ka ng time at saka bad experiences sa business mo. Do not wait for self-correct. Okay? So guys, I, I, I am talking... Uh, or sharing to you based on personal experience. Pwede namang uh, daanan mo din kung ano yung pinagdaanan ng mga yung hirap na pinagdaanan. Pero guys, you can you can learn from from the the experience of your coaches of of your mentors. Okay, you can learn from their mistakes. Ako. In in my case, I I I have regrets, okay? I have regrets. Okay? Si si, si mentor ko, yung yung upline ko, million dollar club na. 1 million or sobra na. In 10 years time ang kinita. Di ako. 1 million din. Okay? 1 million average income every year. So napaka malaking difference 'yon. Okay? Malaking difference 'yon. Kaya ko to sinishare sa inyo para maiwasan. And of course, I have regrets but it's okay. Okay? It's okay in my part. Kasi 
uh, it's a mistakes. I did I did many mistakes in the past as I build the business. Okay, trabahong duda. Yan, trabahong duda ang ang nilalagay ko sa business ko pero kumikita pa din. I I have made made mista- mistakes. Okay? Na marami. Pero those mistakes are now lessons. Lessons. Okay? Lessons for me. And I want you to learn from that also. Consistency. Right now, kahit na may duda, kahit na may duda ka sa ginagawa mo ngayon, sa business na ginagawa mo ngayon, just do it. Let your upline push you. Let your mentor do the self-correct early as now. Do not wait na magkakaroon ka ng self-correct 4 years, 5 years, 7 years from now. Consistency. Napaka mahalagang bagay. Consistency. So be consistent on building yourself. Growing yourself. Be consistent in exposing yourself sa mga tao na ginagawa kung ano yung gusto mong abutin din sa buhay. Okay? So, starting uh, right now, be, be the person, okay? Be the person you want uh, you want to be. Okay? Be the person you want to be right now. And then, do. Do the things Okay? Do the things kung ano yung mga bagay na, na dapat mong gawin para makuha mo yung gusto mong ikaw, the best version of you. Guys, again, consistency. Do not wait for self-correct. Gising na mga babies. So, if you like yung mga topic or pinag-uusapan natin, guys, please subscribe to my channel and share it to your friends. Thank you and God bless.